Hello, everybody. We are here at Inkwell Society on Twitch.tv slash d and I am Rose. This is Felix. We're having a very nice time. I have no idea what cameras are going, so I'm just going to talk about the things. But I, we are not alone. We are here with some friends who also want to say hello. Hi. Say your, say your name. Your name. <laughs> no, Laosian. Say Laosian. Oh, Laosian. I'm Laosian. And uh, uh, next. My character name? Yeah. I mean, my real name? Vera. But sometimes Byra. <gasps> oh, I'm Grumpy Grizz. Oh, I did not know there was a full name. <laughs> Grumpy Grizz. I'm going to embroider it on something. On like a pillowcase. I think we had a. Uh, you've got you've got some ID somewhere on you that says Fuzz Knuckles. Oh, he does <laughs> oh, have right. a Fuzz Knuckles <laughs> because he's a fighter. I mean, right. I haven't seen him throw a punch. <laughs> oh, this is true. Like, the only thing he's good at throwing is insults. Uh, Laosian, mm -hmm. Laosian, yeah. I heard that you have uh, announcements. Oh, I, I have lots of things to talk about. Why don't you talk about it? Okay, so one of the things to talk about is World Anvil. World Anvil is these guys who make these cool things to help your little campaign world be campaigning. So you can do things like... You, know, you can make maps that you can move around and do things on them. And you also have... Like them. maps in Abram? Yeah, or wherever you make them. Oh. And timelines, so you can keep track of when things happen, so they don't always happen at once, because then it's confusing, because everything at once is not good. Of course, you can make notes, too, and the campaign manage all of your stuff. You can find all of that at rollanvil.com. And, of course, then you also have the rook and the raven. Mm -hmm. I should get a raven. Those are pretty cool birds. That's creepy. No, they aren't. Yeah, but they make campaign diaries where you like have a little book you can open up and you write stuff in it and it's like all kinds of neat things and you can you can even have like little cards for your spells and you keep them in little <gasps> slots so you don't lose them. It's for yeah. ease of gaming. Mm -hmm. You get that at therookandtheraven.com. That's nice. These are really weird addresses. I don't know what street those are. Oh. And then there's Warwood. They make really cool things like this. And you, you let you roll dice and they make all kinds of dice holders too and you can get all kinds of nice things. They, they're nice to us. They give us dice things. They have Maze Arcana ones. They make game Maze Arcana and ones. The and D&D ones. And, and they make dice towers where you just throw it in and it rolls for you. I broke mine. You broke yours. I dropped it. Mm, maybe Felix can fix it. Felix, can you fix my things? Probably. You can, you can get a spare. It. If you need a spare, you can get a spare Bro. at wormwood.com. <laughs> That's W-Y-R-M, wormwood. Uh, of course, extra life. would eat it instead. Uh, I think extra life is really important considering how many times some people around here fall over. But I heard this rumor what that mean? we made almost $200,000 wow. on the extra life this season. Is it's the biggest and best one we've ever done. Is it over? Is it done? Did you nope. Oh, we're going to raise money yeah. through the year. So you can still get more by going to extra life and looking for all the different people playing. Yeah, and then there's an official one. Yeah, for d, &D. There's an official adventure that's on the Dungeon Masters Guild. Oh. Right now, it went up today. It's also on d uh, d Beyond. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a nice. retelling of the um, uh, the mountains. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on which one it was. But there's the one with the spaceship in the old days, S3. Actually, Expedition to the Barrier Peaks. You know, um, it was a retelling of that. It's Frank the, Metzer ran me through that one. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, this, the new one is the Lost is the, the lost Laboratory of Qualsh, I believe. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And yeah. you go there and you can see all kinds of cool technology that he made after going and playing in the spaceship. Very actually, confusing for the fantasy people. The original S3 module, Expedition to the Barry Peaks, was actually put together by Gary by putting a chunk of Gamma World. Actually, I think back, put a chunk of Metamorphosis Alpha into uh, Greyhawk because that was um, that was the wonderful Metamorphosis Alpha first science fiction role playing game. He dropped a chunk of this of the ship there, and you could all play it. It's the Warden, and it was um, Jim Ward's first. Game. He was. He, he did a really good job with that. Lausin, you're dropping some pretty fat knowledge on everyone. I spend a lot of time in the library sometimes. Yeah. And of course, then you can also pay for things with campaign coins, <clears throat> which if you want those for your campaign, you can get them at campaigncoins.com. They've got all kinds of cool things like little coins, and they got big coins for the treasures, like ten thousands. It's got cities on it, and they're really cool. You should go get those. And they have ones for inspiration. Maybe someday we'll actually have enough money to actually have coins. 
No. No. We <laughs> either get them robbed or. Or do it's our money go? Uh, oh, we gotta pay rent. Yeah. We don't even get inspiration. No. Oh, no, and I don't even give inspiration. I gave you inspiration. I, sure. I think I've only got a couple hundred gold left. But anyway, huh? um, there's also idle champions where you can go and you can get this really cool elf character now. She's okay. Lanya. She, her hair's too dark. She's she got these little spells that she does, like zap, zap. Slap, slap. Yeah, she got a mage hand. Zappy, yeah. zappy, And it slappy. goes uh, witch slap. <laughs> witch slap. <laughs> um, and then she also, but also, if you do it right, oh, that's extra life. I forgot. You can get a cat in extra life called RPG. Oh, no, you can actually play it RPG in Idol Champions. Idol Champions? Yeah. Oh, see. There's a kitten yeah. version, oh. there's a normal version, yeah. and then there is a royal version. Is that the one you get to ride? No. You should get one you could ride. Yeah. Yeah. But guys in D&D Beyond should get on that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, idlechampions.com. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's pretty fancy. She's a support character. Mm -hmm. And it happened today. Today? You can go get her today. Mm -hmm. She actually is a very nice outfit. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's also downloadable from Steam. Uh, on Android and iPad. Right. Oh, you can get them on their... their on the magic stores. tablets. But um, also, speaking of things online, you can go see a really funny mockumentary series called The Room Actors. Where are they now? I heard the guy, the, though, you know. They're, it's on Amazon Prime Instant Video now. Part of Funny or Die's Instant Video channel. First one that Funny or Die did not make. Kyle uh, Vogt. Yeah, something like that. But you can go see them, make fun of themselves, and be crazy. And, of course... You should tune in for Sirens yesterday, but you can't really tune in yesterday, so that's no, kind of hard. No, but you can tune in on Sundays for Dungeon Master's Guide. There's Dungeon Master's Guide with some, some lady with elf ears. Oh. They're elves. They're okay. But Sirens you can see on Tuesdays yes. at 7 p.m. So if you can go back in time, you can watch yesterday's, but you can't. So watch, watch, watch it next week. There's a magical scrying program on the computers. Is that the, the magic of Bod? Yes. I heard about that wizard. <laughs> it's a very long joke. <laughs> yeah. Praise, praise Bob. How is, is that all the announcements? I believe that is all the, the announcements we currently have. You know what? Oh, I wait. Believe, what? Someone's supposed to be at PAX Unplugged soon, I oh, think. Oh, goodness, yes. Who? I Who's am, supposed to be there? I'm going to be there. Uh, Ruthie is going to be there. Um, Satin and Ruthie are going to be at PAX Unplugged, and yeah. there's like, Satin's on like seven different panels. Seventy? So That's a lot of Seven. Panels. Different. Oh. My accent is, you oh, can't okay. tell. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yes, so we're going to be there. Mazer Khan is representing. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's uh, December 1st ish. Speaking of DD, who's talking about DD? Speaking of DD, two new books just came out. Actually, a lot of books just two came out. Two new ones just came out. ABCs of DD, the one, two, threes was that? of DD. The ones that came out. May, the Ravnica book came Ravnica, out. The Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica and the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Which just came out. And tomorrow, no. Friday, Friday is the Collector's Edition of the Starter Set. And. And. Dungeon Ravnica. Mayhem. Dungeon Mayhem's out. On Friday. On Friday. You can also get special dice. There's special dice Ravnica. for Ravnica dice and, and Dragon Dice <laughs> dice. We're the worst. We're, we're bad. <laughs> so bad. Okay. I think I missed the Dungeon Master. I think that he's working on some book he's putting up, a new Eberron book or oh, something. Oh, yeah. He, he made he, he says it's, it's not quite Big. done yet. Which, which means they're still working on it. No, but people can go get it on that, the, the Dungeon Master's one. Guild, Wayfinder's Guide to Aberon. Yeah. But you know what? There's I think he's coming. ready to come back. I believe it was the missing notes of Morgrave. That is true. Mm -hmm. But they can wait for that because right now we got to get started to the well, game. it will be good. He said to start. Where are we starting? Okay, run the intro.
I was invisible because <gasps> this is a fantasy game, <laughs> and that's how this is gonna gonna roll. Hi, welcome to Inkwell Society, and welcome back to the craziness that our um, intrepid nobodies worked really hard to create <laughs> for everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get Sirenscape going. I, I heard we did intros. Uh, I was busy doing notes and uh, making sure. So a uh, little shout out at home to Steve, who is sick right now. Uh, and Hi, Steve. usually here to make sure everything goes smoothly. So that's why there's like still gaff tape on the table. When you grab the thing. I would really get that. Oh. I thought that was one of Felix's tools. It, oh, yeah. Absolutely. It might be. <laughs> Insane. Uh, I'll go ahead and get Sirenscape up and running here. Did we do a recap on, on what you all did last week? No, oh, that was just the announcements. Oh, that was the announcements? <laughs> wow, Lossian. Wow. We had lots of announcements. a lot of them. Vlamia, there's a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah. There's a, lot, there's a lot going on there, that's for sure. So, who wants to start that off? Oh, we're going to let him ramble some more? Yes. You can do it out of character. Yeah, I'll no. do this out of character. No. Uh -huh. I'm uh, not getting character. <laughs> no, you want to lost the entire rate on this. You might want to pay attention. Uh, so last week, we all got together in order to determine what we were going to do. And after recapping all the clues that we'd found, we tried to figure out what needed to be done. So Feyre and Lassian were going to go run off to the Cocoon Saloon to take a look at the crime scene again to see if there's anything more there. Uh, Felix was going to go run off to... Uh, Mirren's, uh, Millie's. Yeah. Going around to Millie's to see if you can find the guy with the mohawk who stole the vest from the, the morgue for Latch's vest. And of course, Rose and Grizz were going to go play with Larry and find out why Larry was there when people were stabbing someone who they thought was the owner of the bar. In the meantime, on the way to these things, we walked outside to see a small child being accosted by a a brigand of some kind, and of course we interfered because we do that. And Who knows? It could be their their guardian. They the, made a horrible mistake. <laughs> well, someone someone shot this person in the head and killed them. I gave him two warnings, and he didn't heed them. Also true. Also the police, and that caused somebody to come out and attack us with a dog, which we took care of the dog, and someone zapped him to death with a magic bolt again. Chris. It was, <laughs> as Grizz grabbed the little girl and ran off before he, he passed out from his collar activated. And kidnapping. Rose decided discretion was the better part of her valor. And then as we were all limping away with a couple of people who were almost dead, a bunch of people looked like they were going to come running out of the door. So they got put to sleep, which seems to have started a fire in the building because yeah. they don't know how to hold torches. You started a fire. They started Unlikely. a fire. No, it was last one. This is what they get for not having safety bits on their torches, so they just they prop it up safety in the door. Yeah. yeah, it's like a little square thing on the torch handle, so that when it falls, it just goes like this, as opposed to going like that onto the floor, so Wait, it doesn't catch fire. And it's really simple. It's like a copper piece to make. For? I'm punishing them for not ah. being able to take a piece of wood and put a hole in it. We should <laughs> make those and sell them and save shark. Oh, look, we have a job now. <laughs> uh, I've already got a job. <laughs> oh, now we have a job. You already have Great. a job. You sing at the bar. I already have runs the bar. I own the bar. Oh, yeah. so, technically. That's, no, technically. Literally. So far, Grizz is the only one we need to get a job now. I'm retired. <laughs> he's, he's got a pension going on. <laughs> that was a pretty good recap. That's where we are. So, the last place that you all were enthusiastically acting like quasi-heroes was in the saving of that young girl. There are a Rose and a Grizz inside. Everybody's arranged pretty close to where uh, they were? I think everybody was up against the wall. Okay. Yeah. I didn't remember if, uh, if he was still hanging out with the dog or... No. Nope. He, he'd be back to the wall. Okay, so you guys are all back at the wall. Um, and the last thing that you saw, or the last moment that we were at here... Where's my music? Sing, Rose. He wants music. I want music, Rose. Da, 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 da. This is time for a torch song. It's noir. Mm -hmm. 
Tort, tort song, tort songs. Yeah. Except we're still in combat. Wow. So you went dun 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 Hi everybody. We're gonna get started playing some Inkwell right now. And first things first, we had a certain number of people that were still up, still had a little bit of a little bit of movement left. And that should have been uh, Vyra and Rose, who had, who had yet to uh, to go. They were on deck. I thought everyone was down around us, though. So, from what you can see, yes. The situation... That's a good one. Yeah. So the situation as you had left it had a couple of downed... Mm, thugs, gang-related peeps. There were a couple of, a um, couple of your your allies who had snatched up a girl, ran towards your room. Uh, you'll probably reach it on the next go round. Rose, if you are intending to follow him, then we can just keep that moving. Okay. Yep. So I will nix you. Beira is. Uh, Trying to, well, she, I guess she's kind of moved up against the wall now after Lossian has mended her wounds. Nobody is in the midst of their injury saving throws. What? You still have your injury. You're just not bleeding out. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then there is, um, so no, nobody is still making injury saving throws, but two of you are at zero. Yes. And... Gotta, Trust me, I was I'm just doing that the whole time you're talking. Sometimes DM to get to move mountains, and sometimes just houses. So what you see, Beira, from your vantage point here, was the sleep spell, mm -hmm. kind of, un like, essentially you see just men, grown men, and and. Uh, torchlight slump down to the ground and then start to flicker and instead of going out as sometimes happens when fire hits the ground it seems to have caught and is now starting to release that crackling sound across the quieter part of Sharn at this moment, down here in the Gate of Gold, after all of the aggressive death rays and such. <clears throat> and then, from a small window, up here, with the light already catching, flickering behind her. There is a blonde hair, or a platinum blonde, porcelain skinned girl, backlit by dancing fire. Yet, you see a strange green glow illuminating her platinum hair and stark nightgown. Do I know what this is? A girl. The green? No. Um, I'm gonna run under the window in case she jumps to escape the fire. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can make it to about here, which is pretty good, pretty good spacing. What you recognize as you rush towards the window, towards the building, is that not only does she not seem to register that you are moving towards her, she doesn't seem to be registering the heat behind her. In fact, she just appears to be mostly comatose. I'm out of moves. You, did you already use your... That was my move. Oh, you also have an action, so you could use a move action if you wanted to make your way inside. You could also, uh, you still have a bonus action as well. You've only used the move action portion. Mm. 
Um, what are the fires like inside? Can I go in there? You could. From what you can see right here with the door ajar, uh, not much. You can see that here and here that there is flickering and uh, visually you can, you, you can see the fire, like the flames licking up. And they appear to be spreading. Hmm. And I can't call the Shine Watch? You can call out to anyone you want to. Uh, they may or may not hear you. Uh, I'm gonna try anyway. Okay. Yeah. So, you yelling out to, what are you, what are you saying? Um, I'm calling for Starnwatch, anyone, please come help. There's a fire, get out of the building. Okay. The melodic tone in your voice does not seem to pull anybody from uh, any of the, even the nearby buildings. Okay. Uh, I won't charge you an action or anything for you that. You really want me to go in the building, don't you? You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. I'm not gonna go in the building. Okay, so you're gonna stand there and uh, we'll say that you ready an action to like maybe attempt to catch her should she jump. Sure. Okay. Felix. From my, I, I, actually I will, I will ask uh, DeVry, brief, oh no, DeVry has disappeared, isn't he? He's, He's not, available. not there, yep. He's not there. Um, would I know uh, if some person might be able to reach someone who's just kind of like out of it? Because it is a magical compulsion. Uh, you would, what's the distance on it? I actually don't know. All right, I can get it. Sure. But my thought is, potentially, I could uh, cast Charm Person upon her and uh, convince her to try and uh, climb out of the window so we can catch her. Uh, so the range is 30 feet. You would need to be within 30 feet of her, and then she will need to... Uh, then she'd need to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, have you... I don't believe you've cast this spell yet. Yeah. Not personally, no. Not personally? No. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you you do get the feeling that you're not close enough to be able to make any sort of... That's fine. Though, uh summit of a second story building, that's uh, probably about 20 feet or so. This is a third story building. Oh, she's on the third story? So I would... As a matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and peel this away. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Flickering lights and everything. Oh. <laughs> I might as well. I could. I could even get rid of this now. Torch lights. It's nice. So clearly, you guys can't see through walls, sure. but especially you two, which are in like four walls <laughs> different. But this is essentially the scene here. The window would be approximately here. Okay. Um, I don't have enough movement to get all the way over there, just like her. Uh, sure. You have enough movement to get just, just a little bit behind her, probably a, yeah. a, a square or two behind her. Okay. Um, so for now, I'm going to, from where I am right now, uh, yell, Grizz, get your furry ass out here. We need your help. And then start marching over uh, to uh, towards our hobgoblin friend. Okay. Um, I forgot my name. I have. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you. There. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah, he forgot, forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as I'm uh, passing the... Um, uh, passing the body of uh, the first, uh, the, the guy who is now a unicorn with a crossbow bolt. He's, the he's in this area, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, just kind of, uh, as I'm moving, 
gesture and a ghostly hand is going to fly out from my hand uh, and reach up and scoop up the hand crossbow and start pulling it back to me. Okay, uh, so you are using mage hand. Yes. Okay. And I like the way that you described it, so uh, it, shall, it, it shall be. Thank you. Um, and that'll be your action. And drawing it back, you'll get to the one. Okay. So with that, we move inside to Rose and Grizz, and then uh, Byron and Lucian will be on deck. Rose and Grizz. You hear from the outside, Grizz, get your furry ass out here. I like it. No, you can go. We have to take care of the girl. As you make your way up to the door, and Rose is chasing you up the stairs, mm -hmm. and you me. stand in front of your door, <laughs> holding her. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Can I open it and go in? Or? How, how do you want to open it? I got it. Give me a sec. <laughs> she makes her way up. Gets, you clearly were having issues deciding whether or not you wanted to kick down your own door again. As if there's even a working door now. Right. And <laughs> then she comes up, helps open the door. You have the you have your shanty apartment in front of you. Put her down on the bed. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'll walk over there and gently put her on the bed. Okay. Heaving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do we do with it now? I don't know. You need it out of shield. Ooh. Well, we could just tie her up, and then she could just be there. So like, is like, does it shift like? Is it sort of like a ragey thing? Ish. Mm, okay. Well, it's more like a, it's more like a Teen Wolf thing. Okay. Yeah. Like, all right. Okay. You're not like you're not like a, a full out werewolf or anything like that, but you're like. Still there. Uh, how am I? How am I? Am I feeling the sleepy? Yeah. Not yet. You are. You are full of adrenaline. I don't know what to do with it. Well, I mean. I don't know. You stay here. Don't leave me alone just, with it. Oh. And then I just I'll bolt back down there, I guess. All right. So you you know, stay here, and then you turn around and rush back out the door. Yeah. I'm looking for something to tie her up with. All right. Uh, roll me. Also, I'd like to look at it. At it. Her. I'm just curious what it we're talking about. She, so, her. Okay, so roll me a, which one do you want to do first? I want to tie her up first. Okay, so what you see is some rather torn, uh, thrashed, I think is the appropriate word, blankets and, uh, and linens. You could probably make, settle for this. At right, first I tie her, lay, her feet together because I want her running off. Anything crazy, we have to figure this out. And then I want to tie her wrists. Okay, so go ahead and roll me your sleight of hand. That's a 19. All right, so as you were, as you were taking the, the shredded linens and tying them up into little knots, making several little knots over and over again, you notice that her feet, her bare feet, seem to have some interesting scars on them. On the bottom or the top? On the bottom. Is it like a switch? A switch? Like switch marks, you know? Like uh, cuts or... No, it seems to be more like a brand. <gasps> what does it look like? This one... This one is in the shape of maybe an L. Right angle. Larry, we knew it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now I look at her just to see if she's gonna bite me or something. If she's she's gonna rabid. stare at her for a minute. Is she rabid? Is she like awake? Is she, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm afraid of it still because comatose. last time somebody stole something from me. She's still comatose. Would you like to slap her around a little and see if that's, if she's gonna wake up? No. Okay. But I look out the window. Uh, out Grizz's window, you, yeah, it's not facing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I got baby duty. <laughs> you got baby duty. <laughs> Are you gonna, uh, I'll say with the 19, you're able to tie up her hands as well. Grizz rushes back down the stairs, uh, making his way to the first floor of the door. 
Did you close the door on the way out? On the way in? I think you did. One of you did, right? I don't mean would have. Nobody like, said. Okay. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. So a thousand percent, the door has been closed over and over and over again since the time. And you rush your way back down and you still hear the yelling for you. Uh, Byra and Lossian. Uh, Byra, you're up. Lossian, you're on deck. But you guys can move in tandem right now if you'd like to. Well, I think he's more useful at the moment. Okay, so you'd like to kind of uh, let him go yeah. over to you? Okay, I'll let... We're not really doing that. Like, that's not really a thing in 5e anymore, but let's do it. <laughs> uh, just move me towards the door. You can get about over here and say here. Is that one move? That's Yeah, that's your move action. Okay, uh, second move. Dash in. Oh, you're going in? So you can make it just inside the door. Okay. Um, and as as I go past that area, I give a bonus action command to my unseen servant mm -hmm. and say, grab the hand crossbow. Grab the hand crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Your unseen servant is able to lift the hand crossbow. It is not too heavy. And let's see, we can get rid of Walls. Goodbye, walls. See you later. We're gonna go in. We don't need walls. <laughs> Man, this music is so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a little bit of fire. Because, you know, we Thank need you, fire. Sirenscape. Thank you, Sirenscape. Such a hot topic right now. Scorching. Oi. And as you make your way inside the building, where to find? You can see this barrel and the door here catching. Uh, they're they're all on fire, literally. I mean, there's more. Oh, ten percent seriously. Uh, there's more fire around uh, on some of the other items that are there. I just don't have enough items. Okay. There's no bed sheets for me or, or curtains or anything for me to do, especially since we moved the window. So does the fire take up all the other empty spaces in the room or is it just on the wall edges? Uh, right now it appears to be on the outside. You can move through the space relatively unhindered. Okay. Uh, and you are just within the door. Is that person on fire near the corner? That person is asleep. If they were on fire, they'd be screaming, I think. So I'm checking. Yeah. And you've used all of your, your stuffses, so, uh, Byron, would you like to move? Um, now that that building's gone, I can see a ladder. Can I use that ladder? Uh, yes, you could use that ladder. Okay. Ooh. I can use the ladder. Smart. <laughs> Super smart. I prop it up against the building. Okay. <laughs> Great, now I don't have the wall. Go on the wall, Hmm. Are the walls of this building stone? Uh, on the lower levels, they appear to be. Okay. The upper levels do not. Okay. Have a battery. Okay. So you you run over here one two three four five uh, and grab the ladder. And then you make, you can make it about there, and no, you can I get the ladder. See. You can get the ladder up to the second. <laughs> the second floor. Yeah. Looks very epic. Yeah, looks great. Yeah. I looks assume awesome. it looks great. It does. <laughs> you can you? No, we have feather fall. I do have feather fall. Do you need one? That's yeah. right. I have a feather fall token. You don't yeah. Have one. I don't know that, but that's going to be real useful in a moment. I mean. So you've got your, uh, you've made your way over. Yes. And you've got the ladder there. You still have a, uh, your action. Climb the ladder. Okay, I'll let you use the dash to climb the ladder. You make it up to what looks like the second floor, uh -huh. uh, and the windows there are very thin. Oh, so I could break it. Uh, the glass is not thin because there is no glass. Mm -hmm. The, hmm. what would be. Frame. 
arrow, uh, kind of like, we call them arrow, uh, oh, I see what, I can take this and plug it into that, into the laptop. Um, do you see the, the ones on this side here? I can't see anything. It's not so. I, I know you can't see those ones, but I'm wondering if you can see the other one. There's nothing. No? Okay. Essentially, they're very narrow windows. Yeah, yeah they're, they're narrow holes. He's saying, like, I can't fit in that window. Uh, I'm saying that it would be pretty tough for you to squeeze in. Okay, yeah, I'm too big. The arrow slits? Yeah, they're a little bigger than that, but not much. But the third story has the window. Third story has a full window. Also, whilst you were picking up the ladder, you notice that there's a window on this side. Well, but... it's too late for that now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is indeed. Let's see how this music goes. Nope. Not enough. Felix. Okay, um, I'd like to... Here's on deck. I'd like to move to the, uh, basically below the window, um, trying to maintain uh, eyesight on the girl, if at all possible. Um, yeah, as best you can You can see, she's just standing there with her hair wafting in the... I see Beira is climbing up the ladder. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and uh, charm her. Me? Beira? No, the, the little girl. girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now looks like a good time because is Beira at the the end of the ladder? Shh. I could. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm athletic. <laughs> Great. That's fair. So she's made her way up the ladder. Uh, you attempt to charm the girl. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and make me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Is this her resisting it? So I can't really use my bardic uh, inspiration for this. Yes, you can. I can. No, you cannot. No. Uh, 11. 11. So, uh, what is the DC we need to hit? Um, my, uh, with my charisma and everything, it's a plus 5. So, I think... 8 plus 5 is 13? Mm -hmm. No, it would be plus 3. It would be plus 3? So, it would be 13 then. Or... 11. 11? Okay. So, so it doesn't... You don't... So, it's 8, 8 plus whatever? 8 plus your 3. Well, it, you could add proficiency bonus to your DCs? For, yeah, if it's a spell, you're proficient okay. with it. So okay. it's the attack roll that is the big one. Right. That's it's, one that starts at 10 and adds your proficiency it, and your, your stat bonus. No. No. I've got his stuff right here. So you have... Uh, DC is 13. Oh, you have? So yours should be 13. Okay, so I rolled an 11. It was a 13 to resist it. Okay. So I'm so successful. Uh... Maybe. She won't get any any proficiency bonuses or anything like that because she is uh, currently appearing to be comatose. You feel as though you make a little bit of a connection. The spell holds, mm -hmm. uh, but what are you going to? How are you uh, trying to? What are you trying to get her to do? Um, kind of. Uh, I'm I'm gonna uh, put on uh, a smile and kind of gesture of like, it's safe here. Climb down. So it is It is charmed, and it regards you as a friendly acquaintance. Yeah. But it, she still doesn't move. Okay. You, you, your, fail, your, uh, your spell did not fail. Okay. She's just not going anywhere right now. Okay. Um, am I out of actions? You moved and use your action you still have a bonus action and how many rounds left until your spell returns or until devry uh it's i three. have i've been counting them i um I think. we're on the second i was fifth fourth so at the end of this uh i've got three rounds to go okay and with that it's grizz's turn you make your way to the door you're able to open the door look out on the scene with now Beira climbing to the top of a ladder, seemingly towards another girl who looks nearly identical to the one that you've just left in the care of Rose. Care. 
Uh, how, how? And you can smell the fire, almost burning your nostrils. How many? Uh, how much? How many feet to get over the there? A long way. Yeah. Because I gotta be yeah. smart about this. Bonuses for being a crazy monster. <laughs> you could get to the door as a crazy monster. Would that? Would I still have an action when I get there? Mm-mm. No. Uh, Not unless you have a way to dash without your. Uh, can I get? I'll get uh, as close as I can to Felix instead. Okay. Uh, I'd say you can get to Felix. Okay. Hey, what do you want? Am I allowed? Do I? Yeah. Am I able to respond? I'm just gonna point to the window. We need to get her down. This building is gonna burn down and we need to save her. You won't have much time because someone just ordered to put a sweep spell on me. Would you stop complaining and at least get ready to catch the girl? You wanna you won't carry me out of here? Sure. Well, what can I do? I'm here. I literally just told you. <laughs> Open your big hairy ears. Just wait for her to if she falls, catch her. Yeah, alright. Well I'm doing that. Good. Alright. Rose! I poke her a little bit. Uh-huh. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm, okay. I'm just like <laughs> looking at her, maybe I pick up her toe, get the thing. <laughs> kind of like maybe just check her. Roll me a perception check. Oh, that wasn't my dice, but that was a good roll. Roll pretty well. Uh, that would be... Oh, sweet baby. You got a 16. 19. So you notice uh, as you're poking and prodding and lifting toes that the garment that she is wearing has a small embroidery on it that says, or that reads, Starry Eyes Orphanage. That's all, I, that's all I'm doing, it's just poking her and looking around. Feyre, you are up. Lossie and you're on deck. Can I um, climb on the stones of the building? Give me an athletic. I will, well, here's, what, here's what you'll be able to do, just yes. so you know. You will, uh, you can use kind of the, the arrow slits, the, the murder holes to kind of like grab on and like pull yourself up a little bit further, up over where the, um, over the ladder, uh, and we can say that you can try and like, maybe get a hold of the windowsill in this with a good athletics check. Oh, it's bad. That's a four. Ooh. <laughs> um, your allies, you have one, two, at least. And Lawson is technically within 30 feet, even though he's inside oh, and can't see I you. Can you can saving face then. You can. Okay. <laughs> wait, does that mean? Wait. You add the number of uh, compatriots you have nearby. So that'll give you three more. Seven. Wait, no. Eight. Okay. That's an eight. It's still low. It is enough that you don't fall. You're able to get a hold of the arrow, uh, arrow slot, climb your way up a little bit, get, try and like work for footing, but you aren't able to just kind of like plant and leap like you would need to be able to. However, you don't fall, and the ladder doesn't teeter away yet. Uh, Lost you. Okay. Um, is there anything obvious in here? Like a water barrel or anything. That There's a barrel that's near the fire. It is on fire. <laughs> um, is there a blanket or, or a drape? On or, fire. Or is everything on fire? Pretty much everything's on fire. Okay, so then I will move to the door. Which door? The one in the back of the room. Oh, she fell. That's okay. Presently okay. You make your way to the door. Um, I will attempt to open the door to move through the door.
As you open the door, you can look in to see that this room is also on fire. There's crates and different various other containers. And there seems to be curling about the floor a... Let's see, where is that? Uh, a wisp of blue mist wafting up from straw-packed crates that twists through the dark gray plumes of smoke. Mm, we'll try not to breathe that <laughs> by holding my breath. Um, What's your constitution? 10. 10. So I believe you can hold your breath for about a minute. About 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. um, and then as a, do I still have any move left or is Yeah. That... You only move like right. three squares. Okay, so I got 15 feet of movement left. Yeah, at least. And do I did the door open the door? Is that a, an action action or is no? That... That'll, that'll be a freebie. Okay. There was nothing in the way of it. It was not locked. Um. Before I take that rest of the move and my other action, I'm going to use the bonus action mm -hmm. to tell my unseen servant to wake the guy up next to the burning barrel. Mm-hmm. To go shake him. Mm-hmm. He does. Okay. Just to get the guy awake. And okay. Go. go. Fire! Get out! Fire! 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 And then continue on again. <laughs> wow! Ah! 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 or someone else? Uh, from your vantage point, you don't know. <laughs> was he? Was he halfling? <laughs> uh, you would know that he was a goblin. Oh, okay. He does look like a goblin. Um, As you make your way in three more... And you see the mist. Can you move the intervening wall on the exterior so I can see? There we go. Uh, and there's, I'm holding my breath. And this is, how much of this is on fire? So just like assume that most okay. of things are on fire. This is the fastest spreading fire ever. But yeah. okay. Uh, he <laughs> wasn't the only one that was <laughs> that has been um, put to sleep. Uh, then I'm going to make my way to that further door as far as possible before running out of dash or okay and, and open it so uh, this is all like this is all solidly on fire as you see the sides here like the some of the stuff that is there mm -hmm. uh it seems to be like igniting and spreading as you go and I... uh out in front of you just curling straight through it maybe as if it was a uh, a dry substance that typically was burned and the uh, blue mist gets thicker and thicker. Am I racing the fires? It's running down. You are, but yeah. it's beating you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so and it, you can already, by just looking around, you can already see that, yeah. Thinking up to the second hall, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so how far can I get to that next door? You've not used an action yet. Okay, so dash it. Yeah, so you can dash to the door. Mm. If there's any opening ability of that door to move around. Uh, you can attempt to open it. Mm -hmm. And you do! <gasps> and Ooh, then whatever remainder of my movement is, head for the stairs. Unless there's someone obviously next to me who, won't, who would stop me from going through. So you can get to the stairs. Okay. You have one. And we'll just keep destroying this building as we go. Just like the fire. Just like the fire. And our lives. That's fair. Uh, Grizz, you stand. And uh, so what? Did it, she's still on top I'm of on the ladder. ladder. She's she's still on top of the ladder. Uh, well, not on the ladder. She's on the the arrow slit, kind of like holding on to the insides with her her hands, and she's got a boot wedged in there. Okay. One leg is flailing about. Uh, can I offer help, I guess? How would you like to go about helping? Um, good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna uh, like hold the ladder, sturdy the ladder, I guess. Okay, you move over I and- Shoulder past him, pretty aggressively. You, you very aggressively nudge. How strong are you? Extremely? On a scale of one to strong. <laughs> Probably the strongest Strong. in the group. I don't know. His his muscles bulge. 
Uh, would you, yeah, I guess that's a, a thing. So you, you've moved over there, you're giving, we'll say that you're giving it a help action uh, with that. Uh, and Bayro, why don't you go ahead and go while you're up, Felix, you'll be on deck. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna try to continue moving upward. All right, give me another athletics check. Okay, that's better. 15? Okay, so as you grab onto the side, you kind of steady yourself, and then you release with your hands pushing off with your feet and leap towards the windowsill. You're able to grasp onto the windowsill. Mm -hmm. You've got a firm, uh, you've got your hands firmly on there, but you are not able to pull yourself inside yet. Okay, is that my full action? Uh, you have a bonus action. I don't know what else I could do. If I can't lift myself up. Yeah, not quite, not quite yet. Um... Unless you have any other features or anything like that that might get you there. Uh, 15 is where you're at. You're able to get a hold of it. Not quite able to pull yourself in yet, but... Yeah, I don't have any items that would help with this. Okay. You do have your hand crossbow? I have a hand crossbow. You have your weapon. Yeah. I have some manacles. You have manacles. I have a feather fall token. That'll help. Which I'm counting on. <laughs> okay. So you're holding on uh, tight up there right now. I would love to headbutt the glass in, but I don't think I can reach yet. Uh, it does not appear... Actually, you know what? Let's say <laughs> that it is there. I'm not even going to make you make a check for that. I just want to crash my the top of my head through it. Done. <laughs> Done. You, you're able to pull yourself up just enough. You clink <laughs> onto the bottom. Give me a strength check. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, that's just a nine. Just a nine? Yeah. Uh, man, I think that a window has an AC of 10. Damn it. Just like doors and things. Uh, but I'm going to say that because of the heat, it's expanded slightly. It does not require you to do as much. So go ahead and roll me a D4. Let's see if you can shatter it. Okay. Uh, what is it? Two. Two. <laughs> and what's your strength uh, bonus? One. Okay, I think I don't have dice because I make you guys roll. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that yes, you are able to pull yourself up, head butt it, it kind of like does a little but then because of the heat expanding the glass, it shatters. Yeah. And a glass rains down over you and um, Grizz. I'm just gonna say it's in my hat, yeah? Oh, yeah. okay. works for me. Ah. <laughs> I'll let that slide. That works for me. All right, and Felix. So how much of this window is necessarily broken? Um, I'm going to say the whole thing, just a, a rain of glass shards. <laughs> All right. Giving you nightmarish flashbacks to kids in streets. <laughs> I'm trying not to think of that. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to... So... I, I'm generally assuming my options are either try and make some kind of uh, persuasion, kind of encourage her to step forward and start stepping down, um, or can Mage Hand, um, if she's being a little more catatonic, can Mage Hand actually touch people? Not to necessarily interfere with them, but to like reach forward, lift her hand, and slowly kind of like, you know, like gently lead her towards the window? Um, I will say that it could, it can't shove, yeah. but it could coax. Exactly. However, we're going to go, ahead, yeah, we're going to go ahead and say, though, from uh, your experience with the other ones, mm. you, you re are reasonably sure at this point that there's not a whole lot you can do to move her yeah. or to coax her without physically doing it. Okay. So the uh, the mage hand wouldn't really help. Not really. I yeah. mean, if if she were uh, awake and wanted to uh, and, and inclined, it could sure. drag her along a little bit. Sure. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I can do here. Um, I'm gonna finish going through the pockets of the, uh, <laughs> the guy who got shot in the face. 
<laughs> like, well, you've got it. No, you guys are great. Like, because really, this is a burning building. You would be told by anybody in the world not to go in. Yet, it makes perfect sense. Go ahead, dig through his pockets. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Grizz, give me a perception wow. check. 20. 20? Of course. Actually, I don't even need to give... Yeah, mm. well, now you don't. Three. <clears throat> All right, uh, you've got glass in your eyes. Um, after that, so you, you dig through his pockets, and uh, you will find four silver sovereign. Okay. Five copper crowns. Great. I hope you're writing it down. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh. I'll remember it. I got it. Any what, what is it? I'm sorry. I, uh, I'll find a pen. I've got a couple of pens on me somewhere. But... Five silver sovereigns, four copper crowns. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And a key. And a key? Mm hmm Okay. Um, and some crossbow bolts? In his pocket? I mean, <laughs> I, I was... In his nose. In his nose. One one is in his nose. I would just... Uh, I... He had a little quiver on the side. Sure. Yeah, if you want to uh, mm -hmm. unsling that, we'll say that that takes you the rest of your turn and you gain... Uh, let's see, I want to... You gain... We'll say 16 crossbow okay. bolts. Wow. Three. All right. Oh my goodness! So much weaponry. Um, and Lossian, you continue to be the hero. I continue up the stairs. You make your way up the stairs. Snoop a window in that wall. <laughs> <laughs> you do indeed. Window and wall. We'll leave that there for the moment. This is a precarious balancing yeah, act. Yeah, don't, don't squish. So cool. Baby. Thanks, Dwarven Fudge. Thanks, Dwarven Fudge. And you notice that these actually were scattered previously. <laughs> like, they're clearly scattered now, but mm -hmm. they were scattered previously as well. You notice that there is quite a bit of, uh, of like, the, the fire in this area is much greater. It's... Basically, you've got this center aisle here that is available to you. Okay. Um, and you are still doing a pretty good job of holding your breath. Keep going through it. I think you can get to about here after climbing the stairs okay. and making your way to this thing. Yep, and what you see there... I suppose you don't really see that. I don't see that, but I see a door. <laughs> you see a door. And we'll just borrow that. Is the door open? The door is not open. So does the door open? Oh. Uh, when you reach it, and reach out to push it in, you see, uh, or you feel it, there's resistance. Okay. And that's probably all yep. for now. Well, I'll just waste on one. All right. Rose. I look around the room. Just... What does she see in your room, Grizz? Like, uh, you know, the, the three-legged chair, um, a table, uh, Mr. Punchy on the bed next to the girl. That's where I left him. I smell it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you smell Mr. Punchy? Yes, I do. What does Mr. Punchy smell like? <laughs> tears. Despair. Um, yeah, right? Um, salty tears. <laughs> Loneliness, actually. Put a blanket on it. And then I just move her hair around. Maybe she's got some more tags. There's like writing all over her. There's writing all over her? She got the foot writing. She, she, got the she does have like that, that right angle L Maybe looking she thing has on. some weird things on her neck or something. I don't know. Just move it. I'm, I'm just like bored moving her You're around. bored? You don't have to stay in here with her. Yes, I do. I have to keep an eye on her. You tied her up. I do not trust it. Okay. You, but what you mean is you don't trust me, which is No. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I don't trust the kids. Okay. Uh, you can hear. See? You can hear the fire raging outside. You can't see it, but you can hear it. You can hear commotion starting around. You can hear people inside your building starting to shout out about it and whatnot. I feel a pitcher of water. You feel a pitcher of water? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go. Okay, that's good. There's your, because you were up next again, so. All right, All right Lossian, you continue on. Uh-huh. You uh, try to give the, the door a little shoulder. Okay. It would be real nice if you had a grizz here with you. It would be. Yeah. So uh, you're going to have to go ahead and give me a athletics check. Ooh, those aren't my best things. Hmm. Minus one, I only got a 14. A 14 is not enough for you to push the door open. And I go, does it feel locked? Or it just does feel, not feel locked. I go, fire, fire, get out. That <laughs> building's on fire. Come on, get out. I'm here to help. Get out. There's no response from the other side. Oh, no. Grizz, you steady the ladder below. Glass shards raining down into your eyes. Your quote unquote friend rifling through the pockets of a downed bandit. Did he notice that? I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> you were talking. At a certain point, he cleans out his eyes. Uh, yeah, sure. shake, shake the glass off like, you know, like a dog shaking. Um, and it's, is she still on the ladder or? I thought is she I was hanging No, she is now side? hanging from the windowsill. Okay. Uh, which which she kind of like pulled herself up, slammed in, and then like dropped back how, down just enough. How far away from the top of the ladder is she? Uh, she's a good, probably like five to six feet down from the ladder. And if okay. she were to fall back down to the ladder, she'd probably snap it or something. So if I got to the top of the ladder, would I be able to reach and put like help push? You, if you got to the top of the ladder, we could have a very serious discussion about how you could try and boost her up. <laughs> okay. Is that what you would like to do? Yeah, I guess so. Right. Okay, so you make your way up. Uh, are you going to inform her of this as you're coming? or? Yeah. If you don't hurry this up, I'm out of here. Okay. You could, <laughs> so he's, he's climbing up the ladder, yelling at you. Um, K is what we... Okay. Uh, and then uh, well, look we'll at just... the situation. I'm obviously trying my best. <laughs> How, what would you like to do as your turn? Oh, me? Yeah. His turn is over? Well, he, he climbed up the ladder and he's trying to kind of brace you. I'm going to assume this is a help what? action, but is I'm going to make... successful? Well, I don't... You're just sitting there right now, so he's, he's able to get his hand on your boot, I guess. Okay. I allow him to push my boot. Okay, so you're and trying to... You're going to yeah. try and pull in this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to go in the glass that is broken, Okay. the middle part. So, uh, Grizz, because of the precarious nature of your balancing, you're going to make me an acrobatics check. Oh boy. And if you succeed, we're gonna go with, we'll call it, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and call this a 14 is what you need. Okay. And if you succeed, she gets advantage. Oh. Aye, aye, aye. So that's seven. Not, that's a seven. Seven? Yes, acrobatics is that right. Okay, make me a dexterity save. He is beauty, he is grace, he's gonna fall on his face. Yeah. Uh, 12. A 12. You try and push, and then you start to lose your balance, wobbling back, reaching out, and you're able to grab onto the arrow hole. Cool. <laughs> oh, man. Just mumbling to myself. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, Barrett, you can go ahead and give me an athletics check to pull yourself up. Cool, yes. That's a 16. You are able to pull yourself up over the broken glass, tearing some of your clothing, but for the most part, you're able to make your way into the room, which looks like this. Coming back, yay. And as you do, you see the green glow mixed in with blue mist and as you make your way up there uh s settling next to the girl what do you say to her or just grab her you just grab her yeah all right so as you grab her you can make me a wisdom saving throw Fourteen. 
and you go comatose. Cool. Am I still standing or am I passed out? You're still standing. Okay. You're just in like a... Mm. Okay. I, I see. <clears throat> yes, actually. <laughs> so you've kind of moved into this like dream state. Oh, it's the drugs. Perhaps. <laughs> but why don't you tell me what you see? This is no normal dream lily. This green glow is far different. And... It, Maybe a little... Mm. What's the word? Not something I wrote out, apparently. Uh, it, it seems to be a like there's a little bit of corruption in this. So this is very much like a, a nightmare. What, what's the nightmare that you see? Oh. Um, it would be the day my sister died. Okay, why don't you set a little bit of a scene for us? You don't have to tell us the whole thing, but just set us a scene. All right, well, she fell off of, what are they called? A lift. A lift. In America, we call them elevators. But here we call them a lift. And I saw her falling back and reaching out her arms and looking terrified. And then I see her hit the ground, and it's gross. So you watch her fall. I watch her fall a to her death. Couple thousand feet yeah. to her death. You watch her hit the ground in a small little, almost ink blot. And somebody else fell with her too, yeah. Yes. Mm. So that's what we'll leave you for the moment. Oh no. Bum 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 bum. Felix. Uh, it looks like Grid, uh, I'm gonna snap my head up, and I see that Grid is kind of floundering. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, dash forward and try to steady the, uh, uh, the ladder. Great. Yelling, uh, keep climbing. I've got, I've got the bottom, keep climbing. Yeah, alright. I gotta trust you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Almost, almost. Oh. Nope. That, well, uh, that's <laughs> it's it's close, prophetic. Right? <laughs> close. Damn it. All right, anywho. The ladder is still there, right? Yeah, it's still up. Okay. We can use our imagination. I'm just having a hard time getting him to hook in. Okay. There we go. <laughs> wah, wah. Anywho. Um, I have a, a brief moment of question as well. Yes. Um, was I right in, uh, to my understanding, there were windows on this area here? Uh, yes, there was another set like this. Exactly the same? Uh, yep. Damn, okay. Never mind about that idea. Okay. Uh, so you've moved forward. I'm not gonna say that that takes an action necessarily to steady the, okay. the thing. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, you could use Mage Hand in the similar way that you were talking about earlier to assist him. Like to P bump him up slightly, to kind of like give him like brace his back, yeah. So he would be able to kind of like not have to worry about falling back so much. Okay, unless um, he absolutely bites it. Uh, can I use my hand to uh, essentially like slap someone lightly? Uh, yeah, you could. Okay. Um, do I see uh, Beira zoning out? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna uh, scream. Beira, wake up. Slap me. Try and okay. just whack around the back of the head with the, the mage hand. Okay, I'll let you make me another wisdom save. Okay. Eight. Okay, so you were able to tell us a little bit more about your dream, your nightmare. Um, okay, well I eventually go down using my feather fall token. And she, she's real dead. <laughs> and I go, no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, I'm going to just say for now, like, we're kind of like in a little bit more open, uh, uh, like, I, I'll call back and forth between everybody, because sure. the rounds are uh, less less important at the moment. Are they wibbly wobbly timey whiny? Yeah, a little like that. Like, so, uh, I, guess, I mean, for me of keeping track of... That's time, true. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind, we'll keep it. So, and also we got the, the healing yep. coming. All right. So then I'll just say that uh, Lossian, you... Uh, and then Rose is on deck, and Felix, uh, you are up after that. I'm going to have my servant give me a hand on helping push this door open. Okay. Is that a help action, or is it just for effect? It's mostly for effect, okay. but but we'll give sure. Let's say let's say you can have advantage on pushing oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't just stand there. Help. <laughs> Don't just float there. Yeah. Well, at least the advantage helped. And then there's a 17 on this one. Okay, so you're able to start nudging it open. And uh, as you do, you can see the feet of someone who is unconscious. <laughs> Just like passed out at the foot of the door? Okay. Um, can I see enough to, through the crack to see him? You can see his feet. Um, but I mean, okay, I can't. Not really, but you do see that there is fire, like again, all around him and mixed in with the blue mist. Okay, and I have uh, no other. Not really. Going. You you can start to like kind of. I'll give. I'll let you squeeze through the door if you want, for half your movement. Okay. Okay. So you you kind of like squeeze through and like like try and like lightly step over and make me a dexterity save. Uh, twelve. Okay, at 12, you're able to kind of negotiate over his feet and make your way to... Uh, well, as I'm there, is there any chance to like, kind of kick him a little bit to wake him up as I go past? Oh, when you kick him, he just continues to breathe in the blue mist. Oh, okay. He'll be, he'll be lower on the list. Mm. <laughs> and... Uh, was he a human or a goblin or a halfling ish? Uh, human. Okay. I like this song. This song's a good one. <laughs> nice and tense. Um, how far can I move into there? Uh, you've. You got maybe like one more square, I'll say. You can get to like here. Okay. Um, and what you see here. Is someone hanging oh. out of the top? Oops, did it fall? Not uh, quite. Okay. Just can't make it to the hole with the, okay. the base. Uh, hanging there, and uh, oh. there, the uh, barrel, and um, it, it just makes a makeshift kind of ladder. Can okay. you guys see what we're talking about here? No. There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another... Uh, non-gentlemen at the edge sure. uh you notice that there are uh there is a chest at the edge there as well mm -hmm. uh which has flames starting to corral about it but not on it just yet you also uh notice that there the body that's kind of hanging out of the ceiling um looks like that was maybe a a attic door um, okay. that has been pulled back, but the person dangling out of it, it appears to be, like, asleep. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. And, Felix, uh, Rose and Felix. Filling up some water. Yeah. Just, just sticking with her? Yeah, I'm not leaving her. Okay. Uh, Do I is hear it, anything else? Or it's just, just the same old, same old. Um, it's been like six seconds. Okay. It, it, yeah, it's only been like it's only I'm been good. a little bit. Okay, uh, Felix. Uh, still looks like he's floundering, huh? Yeah, you were using your you're gonna use your mage hand to that. So what I'll, I'll say is that we can go ahead and let him uh, make his attempt to pull up pull himself yep. up if he wants, and then we can come back to you. Great, because he does. Uh, yes, yeah, so how far up is it? So uh, you can basically do the same thing that she's doing. You're holding on to this right here. 
uh, it's the next one up. So if you give me a good athletics check, you can grab a hold of the um, the windowsill. You won't be able to lift yourself in in this one, but you could also make that athletics check with advantage. And I will say that if you roll a natural twenty, you will make yourself. Uh, you will get yourself in there. Okay. Uh, about how uh, how close is it? Like how many turns do you think it'll take me to full movement to make it back to the wicket lawn? To the wicket lawn? Yeah. If you drop down, uh, you would just make a. Uh, one I'll give you an acrobatics check to get to see if you can land without taking damage, but uh, I'd let you probably make yourself all the way to the door okay. of the wicket lock. Right. Uh, so okay, yeah, I'll try to jump up. Okay. So that's acrobatics, you said. Uh, it would be right. athletics. Athletics. You had advantage. Oh. Well. Oh yeah, you oh. have advantage. So okay. you can roll. So, so I'll just say if you get plus five, so that's like over okay. Because I was gonna say if you get over a twenty is fine. Uh, so you're able to to grab on, lift yourself up, and you're like starting to crest the windowsill, and you see Feyre standing there, looking very similar to the girl who is standing there. You see the blue mist curling over the rest of the uh, the room. This is supposed to be there, and uh, in a pack. To the bottom left of you, you see it's uh, basically a satchel with the flap open and a green glow and a little bit of a green mist coming out of that. Okay. And you can make me with some saving throw. Oh, oh no. None of us Your are brain. good at this. None of us are good at this. I'm good at this. No, oh, never mind. Ten. You seem. Mesmerized. Oh my goodness. However, you haven't used your bonus action. Mm -hmm. Would you like to rage? I can do it again? No, this is oh, a, rage. a rage. rage. Oh. This is ah, that's you I mean. <gasps> not being Siri. Oh, Siri. <laughs> it's happening. This uh, is you getting a level should you choose to accept it. Yeah. If, yeah. Oh, if uh, this is either you saying, yes, I want to become a barbarian. Or, if there is another class that you would prefer, don't take this. I'm gonna rage. up to you. You're going to rage? <laughs> yeah. All right, so you have accepted level one Yay! as a barbarian. Some class. You didn't want to be have. another monk? <laughs> you have now 14 hit points. Oh. Wow! Yeah. wow. You got more hit points than glass now. <laughs> Uh, and your AC is going to be also 14. Mm. Wow. All right. Uh, and so you've done that. You are raging. Uh, you are supposed to either take damage or uh, give. Like, you either have to hit something or take damage in order to maintain your rage. Mm -hmm. It lasts for a minute. Mm -hmm. Also... Well, well, we'll save that for when you get into the next one. So you are not mesmerized because okay. you are blinded now by rage. You still, you are not like a madman, mm -hmm. but you are able to pull yourself out and then you've got kind of like a hyper-awareness going on. Okay. You feel incredibly lucky. But that's where you're done, Felix. You see him get up there, kind of start to teeter forward into the glow, and then... He howls. Really? That was a little melodramatic. All right. Um, so he's through the window. He's kind of like holding himself up. You know how like a kid on the side of a pool holds himself up? That's yeah. kind of what he looks like right now. His legs are just kind of like... <laughs> Could I hear him say that? Uh, yeah. I don't think anyone would ask you. And that's all that's there. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, <clears throat> this is at one, so I think... Next round was um, that lot. Uh, what happened before and then after was two separate rounds, or was that? We just got it. I'll say that if you've got it, if you want to use it, you can use it. Okay, this um, will be your uh, action, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, since he's not on the, um, he's not on the, uh, the ladder. Uh, I'm going to uh, kind of lean back, and then uh, it. This is the first time I've actually had a moment, uh, or one of the first times that Defry has returned and I've actually been conscious 
for a, sp a spell. So yeah. what sort of happens? Well, which spell did you ask for again? I asked for a chance to heal myself. Okay, uh, cure wounds or uh, cure wounds or healing word. Cure wounds requires touch. Mm -hmm. Healing word you can do in 30 feet and it requires your bonus action. You still have both. Cure wounds cures more than heal word. Yes, it does. And if you're not, if you're trying to heal yourself and not them, then you're fine. Like, you'll be able to touch yourself. Um, and both of them a single target, right? Yep. Uh, self, then. It would have been cure wounds. Okay. Yeah. So then, uh, roll a d8, mm -hmm. and you can add... It's your spell casting modifier, not wisdom, so go ahead and add your charisma bonus to that. I'm at full. Okay. So, uh, your, uh, defry every returns... Boop. Touches you <laughs> right over the forehead and then <laughs> slips right back through your racer into your dragon yeah, mark. Used to that. Use that wisely. And then you grab onto your your arm and you feel <laughs> Woo! Good save. <laughs> <laughs> you chug it? You were saying? You, you feel the heal mm -hmm. course through you. Go ahead and heal yourself for your points. Great. Uh, and you still have a bonus action if there's anything else you'd like to do. I think I still have a movement too, right? Yeah. Not... All you did was take a step back. I'm not going to count that as necessarily action. All right. I don't have any really anything to do with the bonus action to my knowledge. Um, so I feel like really the only thing I can do right now is uh, uh, just try and climb my way up uh, the ladder. Okay. Um, and if I think I can keep trying to scale up further, I'll try, but... Um, we'll say you get up to the uh, the top of the ladder, and okay. we'll just leave sure. it at that for now. Uh, all right. Uh, Byra, make me a wisdom saving throw. You can do it. I haven't yeah. yet, and I have minus one wisdom. Same. Go higher. Twelve. Twelve. Hmm. What's the next part of your... I mean, we know where it's going, right? Yeah, I mean, and you might as well, too, <laughs> considering there's a, a, a shiny new office thing that they have no clue, so. And they can't, nobody can say nobody, anything to you about it. Can they hear me or see me? Uh, they can see you, oh, but they can't see noises? what's going, no. You are in my brain. essentially just reliving your worst memory. And they only see you standing up there, uh, essentially comatose. Mm-hmm. So do it. Yeah. <laughs> story, story. Uh, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. She trusted me to protect her. And then just a lot of weeping. <laughs> this is this is all down there at the yeah. ground level. Okay. Uh, so then to paint that a little bit, essentially at the bottom of this uh, this large lift. Her and a uh, very similar looking. Sure, yeah, your sister. <laughs> I was actually thinking about the other person that fell. Oh, I forgot what they looked like, actually. Okay, so there was a halfling okay. that fell with you, or with her. Uh, they fell, hit the ground, splat. Mm -hmm. Somehow, you had a, a, a feather fall token, but they did not. Yep. Very odd. And you start screaming. Yep. Did you do anything, like, prior to starting to scream? Um, you want me to say this? You can't show up. I don't want to say this. At all? No. Okay. <laughs> then you don't have to say it. We'll just it's like, say okay, I'm reveal your huge secret that no one's supposed to know. We won't know. We still wouldn't know. They still don't know. Okay. It's a story for the audience. Mm -hmm. So, that's fine. Uh, you... We'll say that... Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so then, uh, after that... Uh, well, you don't... We can we can drop this out because you got your spell and you've, uh, you've essentially raged. Uh, like, how does that affect... Uh... Business. So that was what I was going to say is as you climb your way into the room, uh, you can go ahead and make me the athletics check, but because you're raging, you get it at advantage because it's an athletics check. 
a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Much better. Uh, athletics would be, uh, so that's a 19. All right, so you're able to climb into the room, and then uh, you feel the prick against your neck again. And you reach your hands up, start to tear. Uh, you can make a strength check <laughs> at advantage <laughs> as you try and bend the metal collar around your neck. Come on, Fuzzy. That's a natural 20, oh, straight up. Oh my god! So go ahead and tell me what it looks like as you climb and grab on to this collar and thrash about. <laughs> okay, so uh, I see them and I'm like... <laughs> they grab it and I'm like... <laughs> and you hear it like... <laughs> Bing! And it just like flips off. And I'm like... <laughs> just like this, like really loud, you know, like how guttural okay. roar. Yeah, a nice guttural roar. You, this is the first time you've been able to even get any type of leverage on this thing. Uh, you're able to pull, tear it apart, and then you notice the room around you is on fire, has a blue mist, and there is a green glow coming out of a satchel at the floor. And what you notice from that satchel is that the there seems to be little, like, vials that remind you a lot of the Dream Willy vials, but these appear to be... Uh, the, there's little cracks in some of them from where they had fallen, and the uh, Dream Willy inside that appears to be tinted green. A nice, acrid, yellowish green. And it appears to be mostly of a, not entirely gaseous, but somewhat liquid as well. Okay. I still have, uh, do I have any actions or anything? Sure. Yeah. Okay. That was all fun. Um, so, yeah. Oh, well, I'm kind of like trying to like shake off the, I don't know, it's just like. <laughs> um, so I'm going to snag this actual and I'm going to look out the window and uh, I'm going to say, hey, and I'm going to toss it to. Him. Or wait, no, he's okay. on the ladder, right? Yeah, that's I great, know. though. I'm yeah. actually... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm climbing up, so... Okay, a satchel comes flying out of the window towards you. If I give him a one, I'm like, hey! <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> His hands are a little tight. <laughs> great. You go to climb... You're climbing up, you, you're starting to reach the top of the ladder, a satchel comes flying out of the window at you. What do you like to do? Is it flying straight at me? Essentially, or like to the side. Pretty much gonna right down onto your face. Onto my face? Probably. Whoop. Um. I I pretty much have a reaction, don't I? I'm gonna. I mean, it's your turn, so I'm gonna let you tell me what you would like to do. Well, um, I doubt I have time to pr uh, cast a spell. Uh huh. Uh, and I've been using my channel a lot, so I think I'll just try and use my. Uh, my deft agility to try and catch it. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and roll me. Uh, go ahead and roll me sleight of hands. Okay. Uh, so I got a fifteen, and I would like to use my uh, bardic inspiration for that. As well. Sure. Uh, what do I roll? A six. Six. Okay. Yeah, d six. Uh, so that'd be a seventeen. Oh, I I I forgot. I get a plus five for that as well. So uh, <laughs> twenty two. <laughs> twenty two comes flying out through the window. You can see a couple of vials going loose as the um, as the flap just kind of opens and the satchel sorts, starts to tip and pitch and roll. And you are able to lean back onto the balls of your feet, grabbing it, snatching it, pulling it in. The flap Ooh. is open. And you look inside. Great. And you make a wisdom save. <laughs> oh, no. But instantaneously? Yeah, man. <clears throat> well, actually, you know, like, let's say this. Go ahead and roll me a percentile. If okay. you get, or evens odds, either one. Uh, evens odds, if it's odd, then yes. Then mm -hmm. I'll explain why. Or sure. if it's below 50. Okay. Whichever one of those, two, you got percentiles. So let's. If maybe it, the cracked ones might have fallen out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm hoping for under. You're over for over. Oh, I got over. Okay. 69. Okay, so some of the vials that went floating through the air were the ones that were cracked. 
And when you reach out and grab them, they, a couple of them smash against the ground, uh-huh. spreading that, that almost icker yeah. at your feet below the ladder. The ones that seem to be inside the satchel appear mm-hmm. to be in good condition. Great. Um, can I uh, safely pop them over, pop this uh, around my neck, like over my shoulder? Sure. Like, you flap the, uh, you yep, close like, the flap and, and sling it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'd like to hold my breath and climb down the ladder. Okay. You hold your breath, climb down the ladder. Uh, and we'll leave you as you are stepping down on top of it. Great. Uh, stepping down kind of your last step before you come off the ladder. Lossian. Okay. Uh, is there any way to get past the guy hanging from the door above me to get upstairs? You can pull. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You just, you just yank. Okay. There's no resistance. Just (laughs) hits the ground, tumbles across. Hmm. Um, is that chest got a lock on it? It doesn't appear to be. Um, I tell the unseen servant to go uh, open the chest and bring me what's inside. Okay. It tries to open it. <laughs> but it is too weak to lift. Oh, it's too weak to lift it? So un- unseen servants are pretty weak. This looks like a very heavy chest. Um, uh, then uh, I'll go over and see if I can flip it open. Okay. So as you make your way over to it, you are able to kind of muscle it up. And in there, you see a couple more bags of blue scintillating vials. Take them. (laughs) And uh, see if I can move up the barrels, or at least start moving up the barrels to the upper floor. Uh, You get your hands full. And to the servant. Okay. Servant. You see the bag kind of start to like slump down to the ground um, with the servant. And then like settling on the ground, you see him start to like kind of drag it around a little bit. <laughs> As you climb your way up, uh, give me an athletic check to make your way up this. Uh, 14. Fourteen. So you're able to move your way in? And uh, Vera, you are starting to starting to come to a little bit. You feel very weak, and the little girl does not appear to be coming through. Uh, not not appear to be coming back. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's your satchel. Oh. Yay. Um, <laughs> and you you kind of notice as Lossian comes up, shouting at you inside uh, the area, inside the the room. It's and they're shouting. Yeah, what is Lossian shouting? Probably fire, fire, <laughs> get out, fire. Oh, you're up here. <laughs> How'd you beat me? I'm so mad at you. <laughs> yeah, there's a fire. You did it. <laughs> All right, so you two are in the room together. Um, you can go ahead and act together and, and whatnot. And Grizz. Right? Oh, yeah, Grizz is yeah. in there, too. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go and try to grab the girl. You see Grizz she... snarling. I'm over here. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Just like snarling and laughing yeah. like a, a maniacal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and try to get the girl. <laughs> okay. How did you get in here? She's not. Uh, not her. I'm talking to the two. Uh, these two. Huh. How did you get in here? Oh. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, <laughs> oh, look, look, there's a ladder. Am I still out of it, or? You are I coming. Know? You are. You're starting to come come back uh, too, but you feel very groggy. Okay. I. You don't feel like you have full. Uh, mental faculties. Yes. I take the girl, and I like start moving her to the window to climb out. Move, go, go out the window. Okay. <laughs> her feet kind of sluggishly slide across the ground, uh, and you press her up against the wall, uh, just shy of the window. And keep doing that until I can get her out the window. But I see that he's pushing her to the window, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'll, I'll scoop her up, and then try to make my way out of the window. Okay, you scoop her up, and you try and climb down. Uh, so you, you scoop her up, grasp onto the edge of the wall, hold on, and uh, are you? how are you going to make your next, because you've got her in one arm, so are you just gonna grab onto the next arrow? Uh, like, are you gonna try and drop and like 
catch on or like how are you the ladder? Or well, the ladder is is there. It would be interesting if it could hold uh, all that weight. In okay, a, so if I go but there is this other uh, arrow slit. Oh, I gotcha. And is there any footholds or anything? That. that? There's that. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'd try to. All right, give me an athletics that. check, yeah. and it's an advantage because you are raging. I have a quick question. A natural twenty. Wow. Okay, well, why don't you tell me what it looks like as you make your way out? Wow. <laughs> you don't even need advantage at this point. You rage and get crits. <laughs> you like, well, good luck to you guys. <laughs> And I just, and I just grab on, and I just stop, and then, uh, and then I like up and I land like all oh, cool, and I'm like, <laughs> and then I start like just like running across the street. Okay, you start, you basically drop yourself down, look over at Felix, laugh at him, turn, and start running back. Well, I, want to not, I want to try to like barrel into him, like sort, you know, shoulder. I'm all about the shoulder. As okay, give him a. Why don't you give show? me an athletics check at advantage, and you can give me an acrobatics or athletics check uh, to avoid. Oh my god, no. that's another natural. Wow. Twin. What? You want to go ahead and roll against that or what? Are you trying to Try. kill him? <laughs> Seventeen. Well, so it's a skill check. So what's his total score? Yeah, what's your total score? With strength. Yeah. With like athletics. Athletics. That's uh, <laughs> it'd be a twenty-five. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so. As you hit the ground, laughing, you turn, laugh at him, and then lower your shoulder into him. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to hurt him. I'm just trying to like. No, you, but you're. Of, you know, okay, so he, he knocks you back onto your butt, and then he takes off across. I look back like. <laughs> Still laughing. And you're carrying the girl, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so you start making your way across, and you hear a siren coming from the right side of you, and you see a what looks like a carriage with a couple of creatures hanging out of each side. It tears down the street. You turn, see it, and we go to break. Oh. Wow. That's a siren. <laughs> That's a siren. Uh, from all the realms. We will see you guys back here in a couple of minutes. We're just going to go ahead and get things realigned uh, and uh, let everybody get up and have a uh, bathroom break. Thank you. And refill our waters and stuff. We'll see you in a second. <clears throat>
Hi, welcome back to Inkwell Society. Here on twitch.tv slash DD, brought to you by Maze Arcana, Level Up Dice, Dungeons and Dragons, of course. Uh, Rook and the, Ra the Rook and the Raven. Go check out their stuff on their website. And by World Anvil, which is a wonderful world building tool for whichever world you want to play in. So we have, well, you would have noticed with your passive perception score, we opened a raffle in chat. There was a raffle last week on our channel that didn't work out so well. Mubat. Mubat. <laughs> Boobat. Poobat. Boobobat. <laughs> and that raffle was for Dragon Heist, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, stickers, and stickers. stickers. And, uh, Pencil, golden dragon, golden dragon, the little coin that we have from Stream Many Eyes, and I'm not taking all those out. No, that's that's fair. that's fair. <laughs> and uh, one of the D20s, limited edition D20s from Dungeons and Dragons with the ampersand for the critical, which Sig would have seen a lot recently Woo. with his multiple 20, oh. 20, 20. Does that make me have 20, 20, 20 vision? Oh. I wish. Inspiration. Only raging. <laughs> yeah, only raging. <laughs> uh, so everybody hit that raffle, and we will go ahead and pull it at the end. The catch on this one is that you must be inside the United States, and you must be present to win. If you don't, it just gets rolled over. Maybe we'll add something else to it next week if you don't. We'll do it like the real lottery. Ooh. We'll just keep adding things to it if people don't show up. Must be present to win. Must be present to win. Within the... Continental United States. Yeah. 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 All right, <clears throat> I wish you guys could see, like, oh, here's the other thing. So we also had a uh, fan art kind of like little thing going on that uh, people could send the art to fan art at wizards. D and D fan art at wizards.com. D and D fan art at wizards.com. And we will pull up all the, the Inkwell fan art you guys send in. And we will pick out just like that. Uh, we will pick out some of the uh, the favorites from us, and then you will vote on them. And the winner will get a very awesome prize. I don't want to tell him what it is yet. Don't. I don't have to. I, Tatine told me I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to deal with it. Is, is the prize knowing what the prize is? Because that would be a good prize. You will know what the prize <laughs> is okay. if you win the prize. Surprise. Cool. And also, if you don't, just not right now. So, coming in through that, uh, Sig, why don't you show them a little bit of, why don't you show them Grizz there? Oh, oh. oh I posted on Twitter. But, oh, already? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, but I, don't know if you, I don't know how close this is. But it's close enough to, to see that you. Grizz is not, he does not approve. He does not approve. <laughs> no. He's angry. So cute, that's, that's, his face. that's his happy face. That's his happy That is his happy face. <laughs> it's his resting happy face. Smile, <laughs> smile, Grizz. <laughs> so the scene before you guys, just to do a little recap for anybody who might be joining us now. There was a fire. In that fire was a little girl. Similar to the one that you had just saved. There's apparently quite a bit of dream lily inside this building the lower spire here, and there was also some green type of compound inside vials that seemed to make some of the people here go comatose, and possibly the culprit of making the little girls go comatose. Gross. Grizz raged as he was starting to fall under the effects of it, and then proceeded to roll three natural 20s in a row to make his way uh, up in, grab the girl, toss the bag of stuff out, and then leap down to the ground, shoulder checking this gentleman. Oh God. Rude. Guess what? Really? Yeah. Oh, man. As, oh. Uh, as he hits the ground, you also uh, made a big screaming, snarling yell at him and then started to bolt across the street. 
back towards Rose and the waiting young lady, I suppose. And uh, you saw sirens, or you heard and saw sirens, as well as a, what do you call it, like a, an engine, a, um, a vehicle, a carriage, uh, racing towards you with uh, different, different creatures, different humanoids, leaning in and out. Yeah, right there. The, um, the carriage that I have with the horses is not here. Aww. I know. I'm so sad. Is it in route? <clears throat> I don't know. Did we send somebody back to the house to get it? No. But that was funny. Thanks. And now we pick up with Felix reaching the ground, taking a shoulder check. Can I try and uh, protect the statue? Sure. Cool. How would you like to do that? Um, if, uh, I mean, he's bumped me every time he goes past. Mm -hmm. I'm getting used to this. <laughs> um, I would like to, uh, well, he, he definitely connects with me. I would like to uh, uh, kind of like lift the satchel from my side. So I, I don't necessarily, as I fall, it collides with me or something like that. To, you're gonna like you, pick it up to where you're kind of like trying to safeguard it so that it yeah, you don't it like smash between it. Some degree of suspension. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do. Great. You fall back on your back. Right. You look over. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. What do you see? I'm probably sitting right in a whole bunch of the green stuff. You are. <laughs> um, I'm able to uh, continue the action of trying to hold my breath. Uh, which I done at the start bottom, or how well am I managing with that? Considering he hit you with a crit, sure. I'm gonna I say mean, it's pretty hard for you to hold. Ability check, not this, a crit. This, uh, yeah, but it was a natural twenty. <laughs> he got a twenty-five. What was yours? Uh, total was a seventeen. Seventeen. I'm gonna say, sure. For story, sure. It knocks the wind out of you. Okay. Besides, this isn't so much about the fumes. So far as you know, you hit the ground, holding the, the satchel tight to you, keeping the glass from breaking there. You do hear more glass shatter, more like, more like just like grit crinkling beneath your jacket. Yep. Turn to your left and see that you are in a puddle. Mm -hmm of some of this. Make me a wisdom saving throw. Nope. You go comatose yep. on the ground. And... Now when you see, say comatose, do I just pass out and fall over? Nope. Or I just... Lights go glaze. out. Okay. A glaze goes over your eyes. You are now going to a place of your worst nightmare. Why don't you give us a little insight into what that looks like. What hell are you living? I am in the forge of my master, who some of the re the watchers from season one uh, may recall. Um, the perspective of my vision is a lot lower, um, much much younger. Uh, I'm walking along one of the upper gantries. Uh, with the uh, the molten metal uh, uh, vats beneath us, uh, quite uh, quite uh, far below, easily maybe two stories below us, and I'm walking forward towards uh, one of the one of the other people around me. In fact, the only other person around me. I'm my vision rocking back and forth with every step as I'm walking along this gantry towards this uh, uh, person uh, not paying attention to me. They've got a clipboard. They seem to be taking notes as they're leaning over the edge, making notes. And, and we'll stop. Uh, we'll just say, right now we currently have Vera and Lossian still in the room. We have Grizz hitting the ground, running across the way. Rose, yeah, you are with 
the other creature, the other young lady. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you want to do now that you are sitting there holding a pitcher of water? I put it next to the bed, and I just w keep my eye on her. Poke her sometimes. <laughs> Maybe she's lying about being sleeping. <laughs> All right. And... Lost him. Feyre, what you do? Um, so I'm up, but groggy. You're groggy. You you feel very sluggish. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough for you to do things, but you're up, and the building is still burning. Go out the window. I go out the window. <laughs> okay. I use my feather fall token. And you glide slowly to the ground. And then I get real sleepy. And then you tired. get real sleepy. You're tired. You start to I'm injured. stumble. I'm I have zero hit points. Start to stumble back towards the the rest of them away from the flames. Looking, what do you want to do? Looking down the hole at the people who are sleeping on the floor below. Uh-huh. Do they have anything of note weapon-wise on them? They seem to be on fire. <laughs> That's a no. I don't want that weapon. Don't touch. <laughs> I'm not good at, at throwing fire right now. So... I'm gonna go and try to climb down the ladder. You look out over the edge. Yep. And you notice, looking down, that there is uh, probably a good like five or more feet for you to get to the ladder. Okay. And you're unable to hold your breath any longer. Okay. Wisdom we'll say save. that this we'll say that this round is like the last. So what would you like to do? If you are in this room or near the mist, you will uh, you will have to make a save. Mm -hmm. Try to go out the window and not fall to get to the ladder. So Athletics check. Athletics check. Fifteen. You're able to start climbing your way down. It's kind of like <laughs> that was that was fast. <laughs> stammering, stammering with your footsteps, trying to make sure you maintain purchase. You make your way about here. Okay. Inside, you still see the mist curling out of the uh, out of the arrow slits. And thank you. She's so, with Grizz. Yeah, she's with Grizz. Yeah. And you see below you. Him sitting there like Taking this. a nap. Yep. His eyes are open. He's staring basically just straight up into the night. Um, did I make in a pile of... Did I make it to the ladder? You uh, are pretty close. Like, you, your toe is, like, like touching the top of the ladder. Okay. <laughs> Comes spinning around, pulling up alongside. We're just going to say that it's... Um, I got all these people. Sure! We're gonna get creative. Woo! Is it floating? Uh, it is not. <laughs> is it a wagon wheels? How does that scale if I need it? Oh, that works. Yeah. Slightly less. Oh, I like this even better. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they fit in the hole. <laughs> Driving up on the side. Uh, Grizz, make me a dexterity saving throw to leap out of the way. Add advantage. Oh, add advantage? Yeah. You're raging. No, wait. Uh -uh. That's, a That's strength. Uh -huh. So, that so was what was it? Dexterity, a five. A five. You uh, take the same shoulder check <laughs> from this. Yeah, that you karma. gave. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> um, roll me a. Hmm. What is a moving wagon? How much? Roll me. Roll me a d10. Oh, d10. Is this. Which one? Is Actually, this a d12. One? D12 is. Uh, which one? This one? one? Yeah. Okay. The one with the 12 on it. Only you were awake to see this. Right. That would be a six. A six. So you're gonna you're gonna take that, uh, but you're gonna take half of it because you're raging, and this is not a magical machine per se. Oh. So you get bumped, 
Uh, Vera, you are kind of moving. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say they pull up before they hit an officer. <laughs> uh, and you see them dismount and start to. Uh, you notice a couple of mage rites hop out and their uniforms say Storm Wardens. This wagon appears to have a captain of the Storm Wardens on top yelling out orders and they start to, and then he turns around and holds out a, uh, what looks kind of like a wand and starts to almost like conduct this machine in the center of the wagon, which starts to spin and twist and light up with a blue glow. And then from inside that, you see water just out one of the sides of what essentially looks like a barrel that has a uh, rotating kind of gyro uh, alternating back and forth. And the water opens out of one of the holes and starts firing towards this. You can see as it launches through the air, the mage rites catching it almost with a little bit of magic and starting to direct it in towards uh, the building, trying to douse the flames. On that cue, Grizz, what are you doing? Uh, so, did I get knocked over? Or? You didn't get knocked over. Okay. Well, I just, just got pummeled by a carriage. Is anyone looking at me? Uh, not really. Okay. I'm going to try to, you know, keep All eyes continuing. are on the fire. Uh, yeah. I'm getting around. You can make your way to the door. You can use your dash and everything to go through it if you want. Yep. Okay. So, is your intent to just kind of go up to where Rose is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Felix is knocked out, kind of. Uh, Felix is busy. Um, what are you doing? I'm trying to try to go down the ladder. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Beiro, what are you doing? I think I'm just sitting there. Okay. Waiting for the truck? I think I'm tired and weak. Right? Is sure. that how injuries work? Uh, you got an injury in the leg, right? I don't know where it is. Well, you're not, you're not necessarily like, um... You're, you're not, at, I mean, you are at zero hit points, but you are not taking injury saves right now because you're, uh, because you were stabilized. Mm -hmm. You're, you have full capacity if you want to. You're just, uh, kind of lethargic from the, essentially you'll have disadvantage on like checks and saves and stuff right now. Uh, I'm going to wait this out. Okay. So you just kind of like pull over and sit down. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just sit down on the, the little elevated grate there, uh, as the. There, the mage rites are, uh, the storm wardens are shaping the water uh, into the different avenues, trying to, to douse the flames. And they just kind of like, kind of glance back at you and then remember they've got to put this out. Um, you have your back to the floor. The back to the floor? Yeah, your back is on the floor. You are in a oh, pile I of- I landed on my butt. Yeah, I mean, your, the, your jacket like, Graded the thing. You got. You looked over, saw the stuff. Uh, you are. What did you roll to get down to the? Oh, yeah. athletics. Yeah, not acrobatics. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. You're able to put your foot on the ladder and start to kind of make your way down. You stop down at the bottom of the ladder and see Felix is in a puddle of broken vials and some uh, some green stuff. Uh, and he has a satchel. He's holding on to. Tightly. Walk over to Felix and pull the satchel out of his hands mm -hmm. and put it. It's, it's wrapped around it. Oh, it's so wrapped it. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was pulling it. Um, well, close. <laughs> okay. Um, then I'll I'll just try to, to get him up on his feet and go, well, fire is scary. Yeah, you're in shock. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> and as I, as I start walking him by, I'm going to turn to Beira and go, Hey, Beira, isn't that one of the criminals asleep out in front of the, the, the front door? Arresting them in, for a full dream early den would probably be a really good boost to your career. <laughs> there is one over there, yeah. I thought he was dead. Nope. Oh, oh yeah, so there is one that's dead, but uh, there was one that was a, that coming through the door. Yeah, that passed out coming through the door. We'll put him there for that. Actually, we use this one for that. Okay. Clearly, like um, kingpin. I've decided I'm still groggy, but I'm gonna go over there and just 
use my manacles. Okay, you stumble over there, pull out your manacles, kind of latch them, and then drag drag him just a little ways away from the door. Yeah. And then you just kind of sit down next to him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. As we walk by, is is there any chance for me to? No, I guess I couldn't see it. Let me see if I saw the the hand crossbow quarrels from the dead guy. Uh, nah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, that's what I probably not. Okay, so with Bayra sitting outside on the, uh, next to this, uh, one of the thugs, uh, who is sleeping, he starts to kind of wake up as you've kind of jostled him around and dragged him a little ways. Uh, but the rest of you make your way into the Wicked Lawn, yes. Do you need me to make another save? No, you're just going to give us some pretty colors and things like that soon. Okay. So as you make your way, uh, he kind of like guides you, not that you're aware of it. Um, you guys all make your way up to, I guess, Grizz's apartment because they've yeah. been following you. Uh, Beira, you're outside. What is it that you would like to do as you just sit here with this guy? Is there anything else that you want to do? Um, can I take him in? Can I heal myself? Uh, you can check with the, uh, you can check with the gentleman over there to see if they have any first aid stuff. The magic firefighters? Mm-hmm. Store watch. That's it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I ask if any of them have any healing potions. Uh, okay. Or curing ability. Is there anything special, like, do you, is there any way you want to go about it or anything special you want to do? Because right now you just kind of look like, Maybe a bounty hunter. Uh, I would show them my badge. Okay, so you flash your badge. Uh, the guy on the um, the guy on top of the wagon sees it, looks at it. Oh, sure! And he tosses you a healing potion. Uh, drinking, it'll be two d four plus two healing. Chug, chug, chug. Yep. And then the rest of you guys are inside Grizz's apartment now. Rose, you turn around to see. Grizz come in with another pale, platinum-haired little girl. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you have this so weird? Just put her on the bed. What's wrong? Huh? <laughs> Just, you know, gently put her down. She's uh, okay. looking at your neck. Okay, now we got two. I check her foot. Okay, this one's foot. Hmm. Oh, and as I as I put her down, I sort of uh, try to grab Mr. Punchy and just slip me on my, uh, <laughs> my jacket. My coat. Okay, so he was you, tucked in. He was tucked in. You tucked him in yeah. next to the girl. <laughs> So you see, uh, da, 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 da. you see an eye, like just one strip of, mm. uh, so the other girl had uh, a, a right angle and this one has just one line branding them to the bottom of their left foot. Okay. And then I, I check her shirt. Her shirt? The yes. same. Uh, oh, actually, so it's another orphanage, but this one is called uh, the Brass Moon. Okay, it's very weird, but they come from two different orphanages and they have a brand on the foot. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah, everyone. Yep, awesome. and then uh, you Did notice. You make it oh, am I there? Uh, well, you you did you uh, did the thing with the yeah. guy there, so. No. Uh, Walsian comes in dragging Felix, who appears blankly uh, stumbling about holding onto a pouch. What? Where's your girlfriend? I'll start peeling the strap from the pouch off of him. Okay. You start to un... As, as I look towards Grizz, I'm like, so you kidnapped two girls today, Grizz? It's not kidnapping. We're saving him. That one's tied up on a bed. I, you yeah, left wait, me alone. That one's like kidnapping. No, I was me. That was on me. 
Oh, you, you left me alone. It was a girl. Why did you tie the gap? Well, last time it was a little girl. She robbed me, and also stabbed someone. You know what? This big. They're dangerous when they're small. I really Felix and set him down. Mm-hmm. Where's your girlfriend? Who? The girl. Vera? Yes. Uh, she's probably outside dealing with the fact that there's a building on fire and there were criminals in there and then there was an entire dream lily den and there was this the mind controlled <laughs> stuff I think because the green the green lily. Is that what's going on there? Uh, be careful! I think this is the mind control stuff. Um, but I think this is how they were t- making people kill for them. They were putting them into oh, a dream terrible. trance state and then they were using this special one in order to give them commands and they would go and do it and then they would go. I'm wondering where they I roll they up to uh, Felix. Felix, Felix, wake up. You're going to be okay. Felix, you feel jostled. Felix, wake up. But it translates into your dream. <laughs> what are you seeing? Uh, how much, how far do you want me to go? Full step or a little more? Uh, you know, what do you feel comfortable with? How, how much do you want to do right now? I'm super comfortable either. I'm just going to start describing and you can tell me when to stop them. Oh, sure. Right, let's see if we find a, uh, a place. So, uh, I, uh, from, from my, my perspective, I'm, I'm walking forward um, along this gantry, slowly coming uh, to stop before this uh, person that's easily a foot taller than me. Uh, I, I look up at them, <clears throat> they, uh, they turn their head, and raise an eyebrow, look at me kind of sneeringly, uh, dismissively, and then turn away. Um, my eyes uh, turn down to my arm, and I hear a very brief, faint voice talking to me. What's it saying? Calling to you, where does it appear to be calling from? From my arm? No, from, uh, from very, uh, from beneath me. What do you see um, beneath you? The, uh, the vats swirling. One particular vat is swirling, blo- uh, growing, glowing, uh, oranges and reds. Very reminiscent of the, uh, uh, the mural and patterns that, uh, Felix has painted on the inside of his apartment. So, I'll protect you. Feed me. And we'll cut there. Yeah. <laughs> Am I still raged? Oh, and, nope. the, oh okay. and the gantry starts to rock. Okay. Yeah. By, by that, you do mean the, like the uh, gang wank, or the gang wank. The gantry, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just uh, wanted to double check. But that's. Uh, Translating to the mm-hmm. yeah. wake up, Felix. Come um, on, wake up. I start talking on his ear. Wake up, come on. Doing a quick check. The only person looks like this hurt is Grizz right now. Grizz appears to be a little hurt. Mm-hmm. No. I'm not here. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. <laughs> oh, I feel great. <laughs> Just like uncomfortably laughing right in his face. Hey, Lassian. Mm-hmm. What? His collar? What about it? Where'd it go? I don't mm-hmm. know. If you check over Felix, you'd actually notice that so he's it's completely healed. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's not really a thing. No. No, because how would he notice that you? Because I was he tending was to his wounds before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your wounds wouldn't go away, just like if you had an injury. So, it, like, really, hit points again are like more well, like okay. adrenaline. Okay. Well, so, what is divine healing magic, though? So it, it does. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Like okay. you wouldn't be able to tell that somebody was thirty-two hit points down. Oh sure. Like no, I wasn't talking about. You still look banged up, burnt. So magical healing doesn't actually close the cuts and scrapes on my body. Nope. Okay. okay. If you had uh, like regeneration, that could. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm going to go over to the girl that was tied up on the bed that was only under the effect of a sleep spell and go, wake up, wake up. Careful, they bite. You all think we can untie the girl. I'm going to go over there and start untying her. Uh, she wakes up and she sees Grizz. <laughs> I kind of freeze. Uh, 
um, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> like, 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 it's okay. Like, and then she hears one. sirens outside, frantically moving around, it's noticing okay. that she has three limbs tied down. <laughs> I go over to her. It's okay. It's okay. We're protecting you. We saved you. There, someone was using you. It was so sad. But no, Are you going to be my new mommy? I think we'll find you a good orphanage. We've got some friends. I don't want to go back to the orphanage. What's wrong with the orphanage? I don't want to go back to the orphanage. It's okay. No, we're, no, we're, not, we're not going to. I keep untying it. Did men it's came It's okay. And they I'm petting it. her. It's okay. Tell, what did they do? Those they men won't bother you anymore. They burned my foot. They burned your foot. foot. They burned your foot. And the thing. What else did they? What happened? They, 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 they made me carry vials and stuff. Oh, that's terrible. I had to carry it through the streets, and if I dropped any, I lost any, I broke any, it would hit me. It would hit you? It hit me. Oh, it's so sad. No. Come here, come here. And she just sniffles into your dress. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make me a wisdom save. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Nope. Yeah. Continue. Okay. <clears throat> um, I look down at my arm and uh, uh, clench at it. Uh, uh, there's a there's a sound of a gasp of pain, and I start to roll up my sleeve, and there's uh, what looks almost like a brand, maybe a tattoo, kind of slowly forming across my arm. Um, it looks like it's kind of burning its way into, uh, into the arm and, uh, the perception of the, the, the nightmare kind of changes. Uh, my eyes start to glow and I look up at the, uh, the person, uh, who is, uh, next to me. Uh, they turn to face me again and seem startled and... You feel hot, hmm? tears welling in your eyes. Hmm. Do it. Do it. Uh, <clears throat> what with one hand kind of starts to raise up and this uh, glowing energy starts to move towards my fingertips. And the mark on your arm starts to kind of almost sear itself on top of your skin. Leaving. It starts to glow hot. You can smell the flesh around it. Tendrils of smoke lifting off. Slight. Mm -hmm. And that skeletal hand starts to ripple around mm -hmm. your own. Uh, reaches forward and uh, is, is it touch or is it a, a distance? I forget. It's all good for now. Okay. Uh, I, close enough either way, uh, I reach out and I touch them in the chest. Um, and with a scream, you wake. Oh, are you okay? Continuing to scream, just, ah! Ah. And as you, uh, you, when you start to scream, the little girl starts screaming again. No, no, God, Super loud, you just have screaming going on all of it, and then... It's okay. Everything's gone. Ah! Okay. At the same time. And you feel this hunger overtake you. Mm -hmm. You search all over Grizz's apartment, scanning. You bolt up out of the chair, knocking it dash over. towards it. Yeah, sure. I mean, not purposely in this sense, of but you just rush towards the cupboard, start digging around, make me a, make me an intelligence check. Right. Hey, whoa, whoa, you can't just go around all, uh, what are you doing? looking through people's things. Uh, that would be a 13. 13. You find some crackers. Okay. You find some eggs. And you find some, um, it kind of like a paste, has a, well, you don't even care what it smells like right now. You oh just, 
continue, just start eating, eating, and eating. As you crack the eggs open and like slurp out the inside of the egg, some of it dripping down your, your, uh, your chin, the yolk. The rest of you smell something putrid. You know those have been there for quite some time. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm assuming the paste hey, was milk at one time. Oh, right. no, no, oh get, no! No, 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 right. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, the paste he kind of like just smashes it into the cracker and just starts eating both. This is disgusting. I, I pick up the chair and I just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and then you pass out. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Vera, you eat. Uh, you, you're down there. You have the. Um, you drink the potion. You feel better. Mm. You feel kind of seven uh, hit points better. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I rolled. Sure. So you you feel better, but then you also feel a deep hunger. Oh. Okay. Is there any food around me? Uh, the only place that you know to, uh, that there might be, or at least where people are immediately would be inside the Wicked Lawn, where you have some friends who may or may not have some food. Okay. It's a pantry being raised, apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paste and rotten eggs. It's like a brown and it's like spackle, uh, speckled, it kind of has like that gritty, almost mustard, like. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I think it used to be meat. Oh, that don't lie. Okay, so uh, you do you want to head that way, or do you want to like search around to see if you can find some uh, some um, other food? Can I wander back into the building? Is it smoldering yet? Oh, the building is still being contained. Oh, it's on fire. Okay. This is. Can mere I drag minutes. my friend, enemy, with me? Sure. <laughs> sure. The prisoner. Prisoner. That's the word. There's a, uh, there's, you know, houses and apartments and stuff like that. You want to drag him into the Wicket Lawn? Sure. Okay. Uh, it starts, it, you can, it starts to take you uh, a while because you are both exhausted and he's a full grown man. Yeah, but I, I've arrested him and he's my ward right now, but I needs to eat. Yes, and, and he's not necessarily excited about being your ward or arrested in a way, so uh, he's kind of resisting in a certain way, trying to keep his way. Uh, well, when you when you shackled him and started dragging him around the ground, like, oh, it, he it woke him up, yeah. The, the sleep spell really only requires you to, like, nudge somebody, really. If you shake them viciously, but, yes. Shake them or, or hit them. Yeah. Sure. So you can go towards the Wicked Lawn, or you can try and find something else in the nearby area. Um, What's in the nearby area? I see potatoes in that room. <laughs> <laughs> the room on fire? <laughs> <laughs> so they're baked they're potatoes. Ba yeah. they're, baked, they're cooked. You can't even yeah. have potatoes. It oh could be goodness. fried. I mean, you can. Oh, I do it all the time. Can I reach to the window and eat a bunch of baked potatoes? Sure, but it's going to take you uh, a little <laughs> bit to get over to there uh, <laughs> if you're dragging this guy with you. I'm fine with that. Okay, so you start to make your way across. Uh, they're dragging, this, just like roughing him up. Actually, you know what? Let's say that you're like jostling him, like you're roughly like pushing him around and stuff like that. What is, uh, he's he's resisting. Yeah. How are you going to subdue him? I am going to threaten him with my hand crossbow. Okay, what is that like? Hey, you sit still. And stop resisting me, or I'm going to have to escalate force. Uh, we're, you're dragging me to the fire. Yeah. Why, why would I do that? <laughs> why, would I, why would I stop resisting? Like, you're, you're just going to shoot I'm me or throw me in the fire? In the fire? How do I know? You're dragging me towards the fire. The watch is here. That's a, that's a point. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't murder someone in front of Stormwatch unless... I where, needed to. Where would you murder them? I don't murder. I'm an officer of the law. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I, I feel like that's probably been said uh, many times. So uh, with I that, did. he'll allow you. <laughs> Wait, that uh, was a killing. That was legal. 
clean shoot. Clean shoot. <laughs> so he'll he'll stop resisting you at that point, and then you can uh, walk him uh, the rest of the way over. Reach your arm through the window and just eat really hot potatoes. Make me a uh, sleight of hand check. The burning window. The burning window. To juggle that hot potato. Ten. Ten. All right. Uh, so you reach through, grab the <laughs> potato, and start start eating a steaming hot potato. Yeah. Mmm. Um, <laughs> roll me a um, God. Just roll me damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roll me a D four. Okay. You burn your mouth open. That's a one. Okay, you take one point of damage from the burning potato. <laughs> one point of worth it. Potato <laughs> worth it. <laughs> take one potato damage. Uh, all right, so uh, you guys are up in the room. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and jump this in and assume that you move your way up to the room uh, with the little girls uh, as the the stormwatch or the yeah sure stormwatch comes. I forgot what I actually had for him. Storm Wardens. Storm, storm Wardens, Wardens, thank you. The Storm Wardens come, they start, they've got all of that going on. The Sharn Watch starts to show up. They see uh, Beira, they take the uh, culprit off your hands. Great. Um, and since you guys are up in the room, they don't see that you have the little girls. Nope. Um, Beira, you have uh, this the Sharn Watch there with you now, and can't really leave them since they've seen you. So what would you, uh, they, hmm. so they come up, they see you and they're like, oh, detective, I don't, um, you should, you, you look terrible. I've been through a fire and a shooting. And as you finish munching down on this potato. And I'm so hungry. And then you face plant. <laughs> you pass out. That's a food coma. <laughs> All right, so you guys essentially, uh, you have the little girls. Felix is out. He sleeps. Uh, we're just going to fast forward this to make it to the points. So basically, you both, did you have something you want to do? Go ahead and say. It's okay. What you say? Yeah, I wanted to talk to the girls and get more information. Sure. Uh, we'll, we'll get there. Um, cause here's the other thing about both of them is they also were both under the influence. So slightly after they're going to get up and eat like he does and then all pass out. Okay. So yeah. So the next day, long rest, long rest. Everyone gets a long rest. Yay. Felix wakes up super groggy on the floor of Grizz's kitchen. face on him while he was asleep. Sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, everybody else has kind of gone about their business for the day. Uh, essentially, like, you know, kind of reconvening. And, Vera, you are, you wake up in the uh, police station. Hmm. Or in the, the Sharn Watch uh, station. And you uh, see the um You've got the the guy in um, in custody, but you are also you also see on the other side of the, that double pane glass those two girls from before. From before, before, or from yesterday? From yesterday. The ones that were with them. Or? No, sorry, okay. got you. From the, the from before, one. before. Okay, the first ones. The first ones uh, that you. Uh, saw just before you saw him. Mm -hmm. What's going on? You just woke up. You're in the room by yourself. There's nobody else in there with you. The girls are on the other side of the glass. And the you're kind of like, the room you're in kind of has like three different uh, observation rooms that you can see from this one. So the guy is in one of them. And the two girls are in one of the other ones. And the other one is left empty. OK. I thought I was in one of the rooms. You're in the observation room. Okay, I thought I was being observed. Oh, <laughs> no, you're just you're just there in the uh, observation room. Are there any other people around? Uh, not at the moment. Well, I guess I'll go talk to the the guy I arrested. Okay. So as you get up and you start to walk your way in there uh, towards the the glass to kind of check him out, you 
you uh, see that the Inquisitive, the Master Inquisitive from before, enters that room uh, and you observe as he starts to question the guy and hits him, slapping him straight across the face and then dropping a coffee in front of him. Mm -hmm. And then kind of continues to manhandle him. I don't have a problem with this. Nope, not at all. No. Do you want to join him? Is that what you're... Sure. Okay, so you walk in, you see them there uh, talking to them, and what, like, you just kind of, like, inch your way into the door, mm -hmm. and you're there listening, overhearing the conversation uh, going back and forth as he questions him about the den. What do I hear? Uh, you hear... So he essentially is like, I've... What is the... What, what were you doing there? Where is this? You know, essentially it's it's the standard questioning uh, of where is... Uh, who are you working for? Where are these things? And the guy is essentially just continuously asking uh, for legal counsel. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what made the Inquisitive hit him. He doesn't appear to be... He, he appears to, well, uh, to know the law well enough to know that he can't be uh, questioned like this right now. I'm going to slap him. Okay, you walk up on him and slap him as well. And, and I go, Hey, you poisoned me. What was in that blue and green mist? Yeah, I don't have to. I don't have to say anything. I, I got. Uh, I have rights. I need to know if something's going to happen to me. I don't. I don't know. You do know. I, I, I slap him again. <laughs> I, I, uh, sure. Give me. Uh, give me an attack roll. At advantage because he's cuffed and sitting there. Ten. Okay, it's good enough. He's, yeah. he's sitting there. He's, he doesn't really have much to do to get out of the way. Um, so you hit him and uh, and knock one of his teeth out. He goes mm -hmm. skidding across the. Yeah, I, I can't say any. I don't know. No, don't you. Yeah. And you see uh, a dart. <gasps> Hits him in the back of the neck. His eyes go really wide for a, a second. He goes, Tell me that was a fly. And then he face plants. Where did the dart come from? We're in you a room. You look up in the direction of a vent, which you notice clicks close. What the hell? And I think we should just pick up next week with you guys on the floor. Uh, with you on the floor of Gris's room. This is what I drew on his face. <laughs> right. Okay, and the best thing is that he spelled it wrong. So uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's go ahead and draw that raffle. <laughs> As Bera knocks the teeth out of somebody, and then he dies. Does He's not die? dead. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, he is. I didn't kill him. You didn't kill him. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. I mean, you smacked him, and he just died. Oh, I mean, we saw the I. You, you saw, saw it. it. Yeah. Did the Inquisitive see it? I, that's unclear. I don't, I don't. That is unclear. <laughs> All right, let's draw that raffle. Boop. Uh, Kiro Cat. Yay! Mm. So, uh -huh. Kiro Cat, if you are here, let us know, and uh, we will. The bag of swag. Have yeah, we'll, we'll get the bag of swag to you. You can go ahead and message us over here at Maze Arcana, and. I think that's it. Did you guys have anything to do? I feel like we just gotta, we need to shut it down this week because we got Steve gone out sick and, and I and we're gonna have to close everything down on our own. Um, I'll post the picture on Twitter. You have to post the picture Great. later? Yeah. I'll post it on Twitter. Thank so you, you so much. You can see what I drew on his face. It, it, Wonderful. Yeah, let's, yeah, <laughs> let's make that happen. Okay, and okay. Uh, any, does anybody have anything? Um, so the, you're, you're heading out. I am heading out. So we'll Maybe have to find I'll out. Maybe I'll come back in the future. I don't know. But I have a schedule change slash conflict. Yeah. And uh, so. For good reasons. Oh, yeah. It's for great yeah. reasons. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Good reason. I would, I'm just going to say congratulations for now. Yeah. But the, yeah, so if you make your way back, uh, if you end up having your way back to us, then uh, we'll find out a little bit more, or uh, you and I will talk, and we'll, I'll leak things to them about what happened mm. uh, to you as well. And what? maybe... It, I mean, the kingpin's working for the oh, Master Inquisitive. Yeah, clearly. Mm -hmm. KPO is going to come back. He's going to have questions. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then everybody else, I suppose we will see you guys back uh, on the 14th. Uh, we're going to PAX. Um, Vlanya. Vlanya. The band manager for Sirens of the Realms and Magic Missile, which is Ruthie, uh, is on Idle Champions, idlechampions.com. Go player, she got released today. There's been some really cool fan arts, which has been blowing my mind. I don't know if you have seen I've these. I've seen a couple pretty of Pretty amazing. Also, Dungeon Masters Guild, the first technical episode of it is this Sunday. We've been, we're, it's a kind of a work in progress. Um, but yeah, that's this Sunday. We'll be at PAX. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff we're doing at PAX Unplugged. And that is December 1st. Other than that, regularly scheduled programs. Full day of stuff on twitch.tv slash d and I'll be posting all about that in the morning. Yeah, and we'll be, you can uh, find Raise Arcana here. Uh, you can find Inkwell Society here on twitch.tv slash d and for the foreseeable future. So now you can just come back here and uh, keep all the programming in one place, nice and easy. Uh, we will keep you informed about other things going on there, which may include other raffles and whatnot once we get Moobots fixed, but just easier in that way. Yeah, and if you want to help us get more emoticons, you know, you got the Squeenix, you got the RPG, you got the Ohai, Kyle, and we got the Dapper Rudy, but if you want to see more Maze Arcana emoticons, subscribe at twitch.tv slash Maze Arcana, and then you can be here in the D&D chat with your emotes. Yep. And we should be getting a couple more of those, right? We have the... Uh... We, we never solidified. We, we, okay, we I thought we were going to Soon! Go. Soon! I thought we were going to Coming soon. That. Yeah. So we'll try and get those squared away here soon as, as soon... Well, this studio thing kind of got in the way. Like, we had to... There's a lot happening. There's a lot going on. And then Morgrave's Miscellany, hopefully, should be out soon. It is going through the final bits of editing and layouts. Hmm. And there's some great artwork in there that will be... Might have some of your favorite characters from Inkwell Society in it. Oh, really? What? Spoilers. Yeah, you two didn't know that yet, but... Anywho, yeah, that's for that. So, uh... Kato... Kick... Kick... Kato 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 Go ahead and uh, shoot us over a message, and we'll get you out that, uh, that raffle prize. Thank you to Dungeons & Dragons. Thank you to Rook and the Rook and the Raven, World Anvil, Black Magic, Sirenscape, and of course Dungeons and Dragons, our incredible cast and crew uh, from Maze Arcana, and all of you out there in Twitch land coming in to hang out with us. Make sure you tell your friends, let's get our viewership members back up to where they were before so that uh, we can continue that story with the emphasis because you guys... Uh, you guys are incredible, and all of that chatting back and forth that we've had in the last couple of episodes uh, is great and can be amplified with all of your, uh, if we pull back in all of our other friends from before. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let, let them know that we're over at twitch.tv slash DD. Anybody got any any parting byes and stuff? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Kim, you want to say bye bye? Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>